Hello friends, welcome back to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss the adaptive delta modulation. We have already discussed the delta modulation and we have already discussed the various errors which are present in the delta modulation. So what were the various errors which were present in the delta modulation? Okay, the first was the quantization error and rest. We already discussed about the slope overload distortion and the granular noise. So why were these errors present in the delta modulation? Because we had the fixed step size. Now we are adapting the step size according to the message signal to avoid these errors. So in the adaptive delta modulation, the step size is adaptive to the input message signal. So now I can say if my message signal has higher slope, that time the step size would be large and when the message signal has less slope, step size would be less. So So when I have the higher slope or I have fast changing message signal, so this is also my input signal. Don't get confused that empty is the modulated signal, this is the message signal. So now in the next case, I am taking the input signal to be having less slope or it is slow changing. So we have that time lesser step size. So now step size can vary in, to, in the two manners. The first manner is the continuous variation in the step size and second is the discrete variation in the step size. So we have continuous manner variation. So we'll be talking about an example as well. We'll be discussing about the discrete variation in the step size. So you'll be practically seeing how the discrete variation in the step size would happen. So now here we have a logic, the logic which will control the step size. We'll be talking about that logic also, where I'll be talking about the discrete variation. So as of now, you should understand that I have a logic which is controlling the step size according to the message signal. So whenever we have less slope, the le step size would be lesser. So now whenever we have higher slope, the step size would be more. So now here we have a logic controller. So now the delta modulation and the adaptive delta modulation both are same. The only difference is in the step size controller or the logic controller. So now if I talk about the transmitter. So I'm, I'm talking about the block diagram only. So here I'll be talking about the block diagram of the transmitter of adaptive delta modulation. So here I have input message signal. I said we have all the same blocks. So one bit quantizer it's there. Here we have a delay block and this is my approximated message signal. So this is my sampled signal KTS and now here I'll be subtracting it and here I'll be having the error function. So now this is going here. EQ KTS is added with the M cap KTS. And here I'll be getting MQ KTS. So this was the block diagram and here I had one bit encoder. So now this was the output signal which is fed to the channel. So what is the difference? Here we have just one difference that here we have logic for step control also. 
so it is fed to the one bit quantizer so now according to this logic the step size would change and how it will change i have already told you the rule so now here if i talk about the receiver so in the receiver we have the input signal which is fed to the decoder here again we have a delay device which is added to the error and here i'll be getting mkts so now it is passed to the low pass filter which is the reconstruction filter for the sampling and here we'll be getting the output message signal so here in the decoder we have again we have the logic for step size controller so whatever logic we are using for step size control in the transmitter the same logic will be using for the step size controller in the receiver so here we have the same logic so now if i draw the wave form so let's suppose we have the fast varying message signal and then we have the slow okay i'll be taking it like this okay this is my message signal so now what would happen so if i draw the step size so here i'll be having the step size so here i'll be having more step size here more step size and here now i'll be having lesser step size so here step size will start decreasing because now message start decreasing so whenever we have more slope of message signal we'll be having more step size and when we have less slope so here we had less slope so the step size decreased here we had more slope the message was changing very steeply so this was the empty message signal so now i hope you understood how all these things are happening so now i'll be talking about a discrete logic so according to a discrete logic so now here the step size is given by delta n minus 1 which is the previous step size and this is the error function at this interval and this is the delta not so the zeroth delta and this is the error function so we'll be talking about two cases the first case is when it is message is increasing very fast so we'll be seeing how the step size will be increasing here so now if i take the first step size so first step size i am taking as delta so i am taking delta not to be delta only so, so how i'll be calculating my error function so i'll be seeing the message signal so if the message signal is above so i'll be taking the error function to be positive so here i'll be having error function to be positive 1 so because the message signal was above the sample signal so here i have the sample signal the message signal was here it was above so now if i talk about delta of 1 so delta of 1 would be delta of n minus 1 which is delta of 0 into e of n so what is e of n again here the message signal is positive so here i'll be talking about into 1 so here if i talk about e of 1 e of 1 is again positive 1 so now here it is added to the delta not so what was delta not it was delta and what was e of n minus 1 e of n minus 1 would be e of 0 which is plus 1 so delta multiplied with plus 1 so now what is delta not it is again delta plus delta which is 2 delta so now delta of 1 you can see it is 2 delta so here i'll be having 2 delta step size so here you can see again if i see the message signal so if i talk about the error function so e2 will be again plus 1 it is message signal is again at the upper side so here if i talk about del of 2 it would be equal to del of 1 into error function so which is 1 plus del of 0 which is del 
into error function here so it is again 1 so what was del of 1 del of 1 was 2 delta so it is 2 delta plus delta equal to 3 delta so again here I have 3 delta so here you can see the delta is increasing when I have increased the message signal so step size is increasing when I have fast increasing message signal so now here I'll be taking a constant message signal so let's suppose this is my message signal empty so now I'll be finding out my delta so I am starting with the zero point so here error function I have taken to be positive one because message is upside it so here I'll be taking delta naught to be delta so I'm starting with the standard delta so here I have delta so now here if I see the message signal message signal is downward so now if I talk about e of 1 e of 1 would be minus 1 so now I'll be finding out del of 1 it would be equal to del of 0 into e of 1 which is minus 1 plus del of 0 which is again del into e of 0 e of 0 was 1 so it is plus 1 so now it is del minus del so it is 0 so now I hope you understood we have 0 so it is continued as it is we have no step size so now again if I talk about e of 2 it is minus 1 so now here I have del of 2 which is now what is del of 2 again I will be seeing the formula del of 1 which is 0 into minus 1 plus now here del of 0 0 into minus 1 so sorry del into minus 1 so I have minus of del so here I have minus of del so it will again come downward so now if you see I have decreased the slope how I have increased the x-axis I have decreased the y-axis so here x-axis is twice and y-axis is same so y upon 2x so I can say this is slope m dash so slope has decreased so here I have decreased the slope so when my message signal has lesser slope the slope of the step size would decrease so if I again find out del so again it will be having lesser slope so here it will be having lesser slope now I hope you understood how I have increased the slope or I have increased the step size and here I have decreased the step size. So I hope now you are very clear about all of the things which I have discussed. If you still have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and I will try to resolve it as soon as possible. I hope you like this video. If you like it share it with your friends. Subscribe the channel and push the like button. Thank you.